Hey, what's up? It's Whippy Cake, and today we're going to whip up some fun little DIY beauty recipes. And I thought that this might be a nice change because I know I'm always recommending products, and that can get expensive to buy new thing after new thing. So I thought I would take my favorite like beauty oil, which is the Kik Hate oil. I actually have a video about this. I will link it because there's some crazy awesome um, reasons why I love this awesome benefits. But I'm going to take this beauty oil and I'm going to make three different recipes and all the other ingredients are things that you most likely already have in your house. So you're going to save like 60 bucks right here just from using one product to make three products. Ready? So let me tell you what we are going to be making today. The first is makeup remover pads, and the second is shaving butter because it's summer and those legs need to be looking super smooth. And then the third is my favorite, and that is a body scrub. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to make this body scrub using different fruit. So get excited. All right, so my first recipe I'm gonna show you is a makeup remover, and this is awesome because you only need like three ingredients. The first being the cacao oil because you want all the mega awesome nutrients from it, and then the second is a baby shampoo, and you can literally use any baby shampoo, generic, name brand, doesn't matter. I am just using a bedtime baby shampoo because it smells awesome. And then the third ingredient is water. Yay, so complicated. Where are you gonna find that? I don't know, the sink maybe? Okay, moving on. So the ratio of your ingredients is just gonna depend on your container. I'm using a mason jar because it has a lid and I will show you why that will come in handy later. But you could also use one of those um, travel size spray bottles or um, squeeze bottles. It really doesn't matter, just as long as you're able to close it and seal it, you'll be good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my baby shampoo. I just used a tablespoon of the baby shampoo and I'm just dumping it into the water. So next, you take the cacao oil and again, you'll wanna adjust this depending on how big your jar is, but I'm gonna start with about um, 15 drops. You're now getting all of the benefits of this. So all of that jam-packed vitamin C, all your anti-aging, um, it's gonna soothe your skin. Um, which I love because sometimes some of the store-bought makeup removers kind of make my eyes burn a little bit. And this will be nice and hydrating and soothing for your skin all at the same time while it's taking your makeup off. So then all you do is mix it. Mix it around. You can use a little cute, adorable little mixer like this or just a spoon or a spatula. You can even put the lid on and shake it. So then the consistency of your makeup remover will start to look a little bit something like this. And then you're done. You have your makeup remover. And if you want to take it one step further, you can drop all of your cotton pads into the jar and the makeup remover will absorb right into your cotton pads. And then when you're ready and you need it, you can just peel the cotton pad, use it, and toss it. Should we do a little demonstration? Maybe I will apply some makeup and show you how well it removes. Okay, let's try. So I've got lipstick, gel eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and a couple different colors of eyeshadow. Let us see what happens. Oh, the lipstick came right off. Oh, the eyeliner is coming right off. And everything comes right off. And then your skin will feel so soft and glowy. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make your own shaving butter using five ingredients. And you probably, like I would be shocked if you didn't have all five of them already at home. So as I'm pouring them in, I'll just kind of explain to you what I have. Um, first, I have the same baby shampoo that I had before. And, um, you, but you could use any baby shampoo. You could even use a regular shampoo if you have um, just some extra lying around the house. Second ingredient is conditioner. You'll wanna do about equal parts of what you did for the shampoo. Third ingredient is, this is a cream lotion and it's unscented. Um, you can also use either a shea butter or a mango butter. I know most people don't usually have that on hand. So a cream, like a butter lotion, will work just fine. Fourth ingredient is coconut oil, and I would recommend using either um, 
probably about one tablespoon for this amount. And then the last ingredient is the cacao oil. And again, I'm gonna do like one to two droppers full. And honestly, I wouldn't really worry about your proportions because it's all the ingredients are fine. There's no, it's really kind of hard to get it wrong. All right, all my ingredients are all mixed together. Um, this is a little bit of a softer consistency because I'm gonna put it in a squeeze bottle. If you're gonna put it in a jar, you can definitely add a little bit more conditioner and lotion to really thicken it up and make it more of a souffle. When you put this on your legs, you are gonna get the smoothest shave of your life. And having that cacao oil is really gonna help prevent sun damage, it's gonna help your legs look softer, prevent ingrown hairs, all sorts of amazing benefits from making your own shaving butter. All right, so now I'm onto the third recipe, which is my favorite recipe, and that is the body scrub. And this scrub can literally be used anywhere on your body. So I'm gonna tell you about some of the ingredients. First I have, this is Truvia sugar and coconut sugar, pure coconut sugar. You can use regular white sugar, but I recommend using something a little bit more organic than a processed good sugar because you're gonna get tons of awesome nutrients. But the main purpose of this ingredient is it's an exfoliant. The second ingredient you're gonna use is coconut oil, shocker, yay. I love how some of these ingredients carry over from recipe to recipe. So I have about a third cup of coconut oil there. And then the third ingredient is Himalayan pink salt or pink salt, whatever you want to call it. But it is from the Himalayans and it has a lot of awesome benefits to it. It is a detoxifier, it neutralizes your pH balance of your skin. It also will neutralize your energy levels. So just like if you've ever had a salt rock lamp, this kind of does the same thing but for your skin and your complexion. Um, the fourth ingredient is citrus. I've got um, grapefruit here, lime, lemon. You can mix them all together or just pick one if you choose. I will say that if you have rosacea, try and stay away from the citrus. But I'll get into some of the benefits of these citrus in just a second. And then the last ingredient is the cacao oil. Oh my gosh. All you do is just mix them all together. Again, the ratios are going to be dependent on you. You definitely want your sugar to be the bulk of your mixture. So I just pour that into the bowl and you don't have, you can use one kind of sugar, three kinds of sugar, whatever you want. Make sure you have enough coconut oil in there to soften up all of the sugar. Then you can add your salt and you can do, um, you can even mix your sugar and salt and do equal parts of that. Okay, before I apply or add any of the citrus, I'm gonna tell you what some of the benefits of, are, of them are so you can decide which ones you wanna use in your scrub. So lemon has an antibacterial qualities to it, so it's gonna be very cleansing. It also will help treat acne and it will help to um, like disinfect your skin as well as it even lightens um, acne scars, sunspots. Lemon also helps to neutralize oily skin. So if your skin produces extra oil, you can use this uh, in your scrub. Lemon also calms and soothes dry skin or dry scalp. And finally, if you have really chapped chap lips, you can apply this scrub on your lips and even sleep in it. And when you wake up the next day, you will have the softest lips ever. So that's lemon. Now, grapefruit has a ton of vitamin A in it. It also has a lot of enzymes in it, which is great exfoliant for your skin. It also is gonna have a lot of the same properties as the lemon does, so it's an astringent. It's gonna help with acne-prone skin, and it's a great exfoliator. And then finally, with lime, again, with the citrus, it's gonna treat acne, help. it's an astringent. It's also gonna treat dark, dark spots, and it will help reduce the appearance of pores. So you really can't go wrong with any of them. You can use all of them. I'm a grapefruit girl myself, but I, I think I'll go ahead and make myself a little citrus concoction and use all of them. The last ingredient is gonna be the cacao oil, and I'm gonna do at least two full syringes full. Probably even three, because it looks like I have a lot going on here, and I wanna make sure I've got some good ratio. Um, and this is gonna be great on as in your body scrub because it's gonna help with a lot of the sun damage. It's gonna help soften up your skin. This has more vitamin E than argan oil, so I'm telling you with the hydration, you're really gonna love it. And it also is gonna complement really well with all the citrus. 
So um, you'll start to mix that up. If you find that it's a little bit too watery, it's no big deal. Add more salt, add more sugar, and you'll be fine. And I will say really quick, if you're using salt, you do not want to use a metal spoon. You want to use a, a wood spoon or a plastic spoon because salt and metal oxidize, so it will change the whole formulation of your scrub. So don't use a metal spoon and don't put it in, in a container with a metal lid. Um, the second thing is you might notice that mine is a little bit brown. That's because I use the coconut sugar. If you wanted to do something pretty and pink, just use white sugar. Add a few drops of pink um, food coloring and you'll have something super pretty looking that you can give away as a gift. But yeah, this is my favorite home recipe by far. And I'm telling you what, use this before you shave, use it before you go to the beach, use it before you spray tan, and your whole skin will completely transform like you would not believe. I for real kid you not that I use all of these recipes myself. So hopefully you try them and you love them as much as I do. I know it's going to save you quite a few dollars in your beauty bag. So thanks for watching. Share it if you like, like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me next time.